Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com, and today we are going on a few field trips. My mission today is to go check out all of the different crafting stores near me and to see what holiday crafting items they have. So we're going to go to Joann's, Hobby Lobby, Michael's, and maybe even hit up Target because I know the Dollar Spot always has some great deals. So if you want to get a little preview of what the stores have as far as crafting and holiday themes, stay tuned. Let's go. All right, we are gonna start with stores that had the least and move to stores that had the most amount of holiday crafting supplies. So let's go to Target. My dollar spot was not fully stocked, I don't believe. So there were a few holiday things. It was kind of a mix between Christmas and Thanksgiving and fall pieces. I did like a lot of the little trees they had. They had some random costume pieces. I wasn't really sure what those were. I really liked the bottle brush trees that they had in the dollar spot, but otherwise not a ton of different crafting things. And of course, this is the best place to find the crafting things, especially the seasonal ones. They did have some needlepoint pieces, which I thought were super fun with the embroidery. So that would definitely be a good holiday craft to do with kids or to decorate a craft room. I think the colors are perfect, especially for how I like to decorate my craft room. And then this was pretty cute. This was Santa's footprint. So a stencil where you could leave Santa's footprint behind. And I thought that was a super cute idea. Um, other than that, there were a few random baking set pieces, which of course can be used in the craft room as well. And then of course, some fillable ornaments, which is something we saw um, in almost every place. What I really liked were the shapes and I liked these particular canister ones. I thought those were a little bit unusual. And then look at the cute snowman that they created in there. So those would be a fun craft. Otherwise, I feel like you can see the boxes there. I'm not sure that my target was completely unpacked and ready to go. The holiday section in the back was stocked, was beautiful. So maybe if I'd given it a couple more days, I would have found some more treasures. But so far, not a lot of holiday crafting at Target. All right, next stop was Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. And you guys, I was super disappointed with my Joanne store. Look at how bare everything looks. So these are the wood cutouts. Of course, these would be wonderful for holiday crafting, but they're just weren't that many pieces. Um, I did like some of the outdoor pieces they had, like this big light that um, could be a stake in the ground. They did have a few Hanukkah things, but they were very, very sparse. And then look, see how open and empty everything looked. It was a little disappointing. I don't know if I'm late or early, but it just wasn't there. They had some gingerbread kits and some baking things, which I think is different from some of the other stores that don't always have all of those goodies. I know Joanne does have a good baking aisle. I did see some papers that were pulled out, um, but that was pretty much it. I'll do a quick flip of the paper packs that I saw. They had them in the six by six sizes and they had some 12 by 12 and eight and a half by 11, I believe. Just some different um, styles. Nothing that I was like super taken aback with. And then they didn't have the accessories out that would go with them like washi tape or ephemera pieces. So I found that a little bit disappointing. I did like the pink in this particular one. I thought that was pretty cute. And then the foil pages are always nice, but I just didn't see a lot of Christmas or holiday crafting things pulled out. Now, when I did go in the paper aisle, they did have a few pieces here and there, but I appreciate it when the stores kind of pull them together and make it easier for you to find. I looked all around the store. There were some end caps that had a few things, for instance, these DIY ornaments um, that you could paint and a few uh, floral sprigs and things like that. But otherwise, not a lot going on at Joann's as far as holiday themed crafting. The decor, yes, they had, like I said, the wreath making supplies, kind of some of the basic things. But when you get to the holiday crafting or specialty crafts, this one was super lacking at Joann's. The one thing I did kind of like was that they had some fabric pulled out that were in one yard or two yard sections that I thought were pretty helpful um, and holiday themed. 
All right, I had slightly more success at Michael's. A few more holiday items pulled out. I feel like some of the craft stores are putting such an emphasis on holiday decor that we're missing out on some of the holiday crafting. So something that I did spot that I really liked was this gingerbread house. It's Recollections and it's made from MDF and you can put it together and it's a gingerbread house and I thought it was super cool looking. They had this laser cut wood section. So all of these ornaments and some larger um, pieces that you could paint maybe as door decorations or larger decorations in your home. I thought the snowman was super cute and would make a really cute center to a wreath. So I was checking that out. And of course there's some great sales going on right now. So that's something you're going to want to check out a ton of ornaments. So if you're wanting to make your own ornaments, wood slices, clear ornaments, there's a lot of different DIYs on how to create your own ornaments. Um, they have all the different shapes here. This was maybe something I was most impressed with. These are large wooden signs and I thought this would be so great by your front door. Um, they were $24.99, but everything was 50% off. So I thought that was a pretty good deal, but how fun to paint and put by the door. Of course, the classic holiday ribbon. It wasn't quite as big a selection as I would have thought, but they did have some cute ones. I think you'd have to go in the regular holiday section for that. Lots of sprigs and florals and wreath making supplies like you would probably expect at Michael's um, and some pretty good variety and ornamentation that you can add into your wreaths, which I liked as well. Now we're getting to the stuff that was of interest to me, which is of course paper crafting things. I love when they have the themed washi. However, all of this looked like repeats from last year. So I'm not sure that they released any new lines or any new washies. Maybe a couple of them. I do like these washi sets, which I don't remember from last year, but those other smaller ones definitely do remember. So I like these larger washi sets. They were a hot buy, but it didn't say how much they were. I'm guessing probably around $10 at Michael's, but I would make sure to look out for Black Friday sales. These will be definitely deeply discounted. And they had some new sticker books, which is um, something new for them. These were not really my style. It had a very traditional feel to it. Something that Michaels had that I did not see at other places were these metal dies and these stamps pulled out that were specifically holiday stamps and gathered together. This was the only store where I saw holiday stamps and holiday dies that were pulled into one display. They have lots of little goodies like glitter, some larger stamps, twine, I, again, really appreciate it when they gather these supplies for you. I find it very inspiring to see them all together and to kind of wonder what you could make. And I think when I bring my kids to the craft store, that's also something that they look forward to is being able to see some of the different possibilities. I loved this glitter, especially this one. Sorry about the focus, but these were little like lights, like Christmas lights. I thought that was super cute. It would make such a great shaker cards. So, so cute. And then I also really liked these card blanks. So these are like the base of holiday cards where you could easily add your own stamping or your own message. Um, and that could be a really fun and easy holiday project because making a holiday card from scratch can be overwhelming. There were many different paper pads. These were all 12 by 12s. And I'm just going to do a quick flip through of some of them they had. They have a lot of different styles. Like I said, it tended toward the more traditional. There weren't any like bright holiday colors, which I sort of like at times. This was definitely your reds and greens. And then they had winter packs that were blue. This is probably the closest to a bright, but again, lots and lots of red in there. Um, as well. They did have a lot of different paper pads. So maybe the most out of any store as far as just sheer number of the different lines. But again, um, the washi, they had some washi, some stickers, but it wasn't like a full collection. Michael's was the only store that I saw that had crafting supplies for both Kwanzaa and Hanukkah. Some of them had decor for both of those holidays, but did not have the actual crafting. So each of these packages came with paper pieces, came with stickers that were dimensional and flat stickers as well. So I thought these were nice little packs. It would be nice if you saw more representation and had some more variety um, depending on your holiday that you're celebrating at this time of the year. Um, but at least they had some to choose from. And that's Michael's. 
for me, Hobby Lobby hands down has the best holiday craft shopping. So of course they have a ton of decor because Hobby Lobby has leaned that way. But you guys, they have so many holiday crafts and the basics to put together some, uh, some simple crafts, some more complex crafts. Look at all of just the different possibilities. I love the big poofs as fake snowballs. This is like ornament making central. If you want to create your own ornaments, if you want to paint your own ornaments, if you want to um, put together wood pieces into your own ornaments. If you want to de decoupage, there's all these different options. I happen to really like these laser cut wood snowflakes. I think they're super thin and super intricate and beautiful. So those will come in handy for sure in holiday crafting. I love just the variety of pieces. So they have, you know, your more traditional shapes, but then you'll see like a dinosaur with a Santa hat or a cat themed sticker sheet or just some fun different shapes shapes that you wouldn't expect in some different variety. I love the paper mache advent box. I think that would be super fun to work with. This particular piece is like paper mache as well. And I thought that would be fun to decoupage on top of for my craft room. I like that you have these kind of clay ornaments, this baked ornament feel, because I know those are really popular. But if you're like me, if you try to put anything into the oven, you're not going to be successful. So it was nice to see that you could just paint on top of those some fun variety and some larger wooden pieces as well. So this kind of goes beyond your typical crafting to where you can use these as decor pieces pieces in your home. I also totally dug these tissue squares. Something about not having to cut up all the little tissues and still being able to do a fun project like creating a wreath with those um, was really appealing to me. Tons of felt pieces, tons of tissue pieces, and tons of kid craft, like ready to go kids craft, which I like to buy for when my kids are getting out of school during the Christmas season. And we have some activities like they're ready to go, like putting them in a big basket and letting the kids choose things that they want to do each day. Um, that can be really fun or even taking them along and allowing them to choose a few different projects. Stickers, stickers, stickers. I totally was into these dimensional stickers and you'll see later on when I show you my haul at the end of this video, um, I did end up picking up a few of these because the dimensional felt stickers I think are really versatile and you can use them in several different ways. And there were just some fabulous stickers available of all types. So if you are wanting planner stickers, if you are wanting scrapbooking stickers, this, that's what I liked most about the Hobby Lobby craft section. The holiday section was that it covered more than one craft. It wasn't just about creating ornaments. It wasn't just about woodwork. It was like it covered the whole spectrum of any craft that you might like to do during the holiday season. So you can see I'm kind of checking out some of the different ones. Sorry for the camera work here. Um, but there's just some look at those cute little gingerbread men. They're so adorable. And I like how there's just a nice variety available from the whimsical to kind of the more classic like the candy canes. Um, lots of different options out there there at Hobby Lobby and they were well stocked and 50% off. Again, hands down the most uh, kits available. So kits where you can just buy the kit and everything's in there ready to go and you can put it together. They had um, religious themed ones. I also really dug these little buttons. I liked the little nativity set buttons. I thought those were adorable and they're, I just, could think of all kinds of things to do with those. The buttons were really cute. There was just a wonderful variety at Hobby Lobby and it was inspiring to be there. So you could go to Hobby Lobby without an idea of what you wanted to craft and just look around and get some fantastic ideas for sure. You guys, these are not my mother's pipe cleaners. They had these pipe cleaners that looked like pine trees. They had pipe cleaners that were in kits that you could easily make into reindeer. They had candy striped pipe cleaners, all kinds of foam crafts like this. Look at all of these pipe cleaners. It was crazy. I loved it. I, there's something about pipe cleaners. Leave me a comment below. Like it's something left over from my childhood. I love pipe cleaners and I feel like you could make almost anything with a pipe cleaner. I just love it. All the jingle bells in all of the sizes and all of the finishes that you could possibly want. And of course, holiday ribbon pulled out. There was also more holiday ribbon available over in the crafting section.
sorry, not the crafting section, but the sewing section. So these are obviously ribbons that um, don't have wire, um, so they're better for crafts. If you're looking for decor ribbons, you're gonna wanna look elsewhere in the store. So my favorite section is the stickers. There are some gorgeous stickers available, and like I said, probably the biggest variety of styles. So the classics, like cardinals and Christmas trees and beautiful snowflakes. And then they have dinosaurs with Santa hats and cats dressed for Christmas and Christmas mermaids. And it, it was just a huge variety, something for everyone, for sure. I loved the sticker section. I feel like I could use all these stickers on all kinds of different projects. I'd say if there were a supply that they fell short on, it might be washi tape. Here is, this is it. That's the washi tape. Those are the different sections available. They're not, um, there's not a lot of variety. So there's not a lot of Christmas washi tape, but that's okay. It's more than made up for with all of the other possibilities that they have out there. All the dimensional pieces, the twine, the poinsettias. Look at those. How adorable are those. And they of course had some different holiday papers. Let me share a few flip throughs for you. Most of their paper stacks came in eight and a half by 11 size, which I actually really like because I don't do big scrapbooks at Christmas time. So eight and a half by 11 is more than enough for me. And they had some really good variety. Vintage Christmas I thought was very pretty. I actually really like the plaid Christmas. This one, winter berry, definitely if you're into florals, this is the way to go. Some more floral pieces in here. And the plaid, like I said, is my favorite just because I think these are really good basics to layer. And that's what I like to do at Christmas time. Have a cozy Christmas, had a lot more black involved in it, which was very pretty. And Christmas basics is just what it sounds like. A lot of basic pieces um, that you can layer into cards. And this was the 12 by 12 when I saw Yuletide had a lot of black and white in it um, and green, which was a little bit different of a combination. I really liked those Christmas trees especially. All right, so you can see that Hobby Lobby was rocking it with the Christmas crafting. There were so many options, so many different styles of crafting. I absolutely loved it. Hey y'all, I am back from shopping and I thought I would show you what I bought. Not everything was craft related. Some of it was decor items. And I know that's not what I showed you in the video, but I always like to see what people buy anyway. So I thought I would show you. First of all, I bought this really pretty garland from Target. I love the Opal House brand. And I think this is going to be really pretty in my craft room. So excited about that. And then I bought a bunch of bottle brush trees that they had in the dollar spot. That I thought were super cute, including these little teeny tiny ones. So fun. So I bought those from Target, and those are all kind of decor related. Also from Target, I bought a light up star that I'm wanting to put in my craft space. So I bought that. Let's see. And from Target, what else do we have? This cutie pillow, merry and bright with pom-poms. I love me some pom-poms, so that's for sure gonna stay. A stocking, which I thought was super cute. And a little mini tree skirt because there may or may not be a Christmas tree coming to this craft room. So I am super excited about those items. I'm trying to see if that was all from Target. I think so. Um, Michael's. I purchased at Michael's a couple of things. This is craft related. So this is a gingerbread house. All the pieces are made from MDF. So you put it together yourself. You guys, I thought this would be so fun to craft during the holidays. And um, I may or may not use it after the holidays just for decor in my craft room. I know it seems a little bit silly, but I think it's super cute and I can't wait to put it together and um, see what happens. I got this for 40% off. I think it was regularly $30, 40% off plus a military discount. So I thought it was a pretty good deal um, for a fun project. And then I bought a decor item at Michael's as well for my craft room. You can tell I'm gonna go with um, bright colors this year in the craft room and it should be a lot of fun. So that was 
from Michael's, then Hobby Lobby, where I did actually buy some craft things, but also some decor. I bought a fun pillow, merry and bright, but very, very bright colored. I love the kind of texture on it. Super cute. Bought that one and this cutie pillow. It says wolf. This is for the craft room too. And I just, I think it's perfect because Penny spends so much time in here. So those and then in the craft line, I bought these letters that I thought would be so fun to paint and or put some scrap of paper on top of in some bright colors for Christmas. So I'm excited to try that. What else did I get? Let's see. Oh, this is from Target. Oops got a little sign a target otherwise that's just kind of random stuff I got a new Christmas mug from Hobby Lobby and when I was checking out the um, cashier that was checking me out asked if I was going to put bottle brush trees in my mug which I hadn't even thought about and then when she said it I was like you're a genius like this mug was gonna be just for coffee but look at how cute that is. So that might be something that makes an appearance too. I just think that's super, super cute. So I also bought some bottle brush trees at Hobby Lobby. Super cute. They just need to be fluffed just a little bit. They got a little squished here and there. So those are fun. Um, let's see. And I bought some ornaments. These are like big, colorful ornaments. Love the beans. I'm going to use these as decor for Christmas. Super fun. But I did buy some more craft things um, at Hobby Lobby. I bought these wooden kind of laser cut pieces. I thought these would be great for crafting in December. I bought some stickers. I got these cute stickers. So fun with all the beverages. I thought it'd be fun to kind of mark in my planner every time I go to Starbucks or make myself a festive um, coffee or warm drink. I thought that would be fun. Look at how pretty these are. I love these poinsettias with the buffalo plaid. And I thought that actually these different, including the poinsettias. I thought these would be so fun to create paper clips for my planner and for my December daily project to clip onto pages. So these were super cute. They were half off. Um, so a pretty good deal. And what else is in here? One more foam ornament. Super cute. And the last thing I got at Hobby Lobby would be these little nutcrackers in these bright colors for the craft room. So that's what I picked up. I had fun looking through all of the holiday crafting sections. I'm getting excited about the holidays. I hope you guys are too. Um, if you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them down below. I'll link each store down below so you can check those out and shop online if that works better for you. I want to give a huge shout out to my scrappy YouTube members. Thank you so much for all of your support. I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.